I'm 100% sure that this is a healthy way to cope with what's healthy anyway in this existence, but I don't feel like going down that rabbit hole, you know? And if you don't know, I don't feel like being your teacher at this point. I'm on I feel like bitching. Which I already do enough. <clears throat> Either way, when things start to bother me, like... <laughs> the piss and the shit that's in the community, I mean, the fucking... The things that I know about dudes make me want to fucking be a murderer towards, like... Y'all ever remember that uh, bully beatdown that was on MTV where people went around and beat up people's supposed bullying about this and about that? Turned out that whole entire shit was a hoax later on in life, as most things are. Like, right now, it's the truth, but Larry will tell you the true truth. But right now, just enjoy the truth, right? That's the point. So, what I was thinking is, like, why don't they just, like, bring a show on where people just go around, like, professional fighters, not just people or NFL fighters. Just, like, people that don't know how to fight regardless of professional route. Trained fighters, essentially, what I'm getting at. Go around beating up people's baby mamas and baby daddies because somebody need to whoop their ass. I'm just saying, there's so much shit and piss in the fucking dating pool, it's fucking ridiculous. It pisses me off to always hear these essay stories. I'm just like, I know not all of them are true. And I know not all of them are as brutal as some females have told me. But I'm just like, oh, I could kill someone. I could kill someone. And I could tell that throughout all the experiences I've had with as many females as I've had sexual and non-sexual experiences, I can tell how damaged a person is by how reactive they are towards the most minuscule things that I have done, rather. Because I'm the type to talk with my hands, and what I'm aware of that is some people have been hit so much as soon as they see the slightest movement, they're ready to defend themselves. As someone that grew up in an environment where hands, you don't know when the fuck they're going to be swung. You know when someone's going to get yelled at. You know when you're going to get punched. You know when the emotions are going to be unregulated. So therefore, I try to regulate the room. I always try to either help or be away because of the fact of the matter. I know how it is to be abused. So either fuck away, I'm just like... <laughs> Fuck. And another thing I learned, a kink says a lot about a person because a kink is a way somebody takes control of something that they didn't have originally. Or at least from what I've learned. I don't know. Y'all need to do your own research because I can't always... Like, I could tell you things, but I don't mean you fucking retain the information. The only reason I retain the information is because I go out and I experience things. Life is a whole entire science experiment, even though I don't have the scientific brain. This shit's a fucking retarded game, and most of y'all got it fucked up. Um... It's a personal thing. You can't help anybody but yourself, so why am I getting emotional over others? Like, <laughs> I can help you. I can save you. I, I can't do shit for you. I can only foster a safe place for you to express your emotions and figure out your lessons, but at the same time, rather you're safe or not, that is all up to you because I've tried, and the only way that you can truly keep people safe is by containing them, but that doesn't allow them to have the freedom that they were originally given, if they were given any freedoms, because I question, are, is everybody free? Because as somebody that...